heart-shaped fibers. A what? If you know, you know. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie. Today we're going to be doing my haul unboxing. It's not an unboxing, is it? It's just a haul. I'm super excited to finally be able to use these products without feeling guilty. <laughs> this was a birthday haul. If you've seen some other videos of mine, you know my boyfriend likes to take me to Sephora to buy makeup products for me. So we did get a birthday gift because like I said, it was for my birthday. This is the Drunk Elephant birthday kit. It comes with the Best Number 9 Jelly Cleanser and the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I'm pretty excited about this. Drunk Elephant is a pretty nice skincare brand that costs some money. Most of the time, the birthday gifts, I usually really don't like them all that much. Or they're just not that exciting, but this was pretty exciting. I always love a jelly cleanser. This one says it purifies and dissolves, and it has cantaloupe glycerin. Look at this cantaloupe color. First time opening them, just looks like this. Throw some on the back of my hand because I'm feeling slightly dry. And that's immediately moisturizing. Whoa, that tiny bit just moisturized both the tops of my hands. Amazing. Great birthday gift from Sephora this month, or last month, I guess. Next in here is not a makeup item either, so I just want to jump into that, get the non-makeup items out of the way. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. It's in the mini form, and this just cost $9. This actually came after the in-store purchase. This I ordered online and I just needed to hit a certain number to get free shipping. So I got this because it was $9. But also Briogeo is a really great hair product brand. And I do like a lot of their products. So why not, right? But yeah, this will probably last me two times since it's pretty small. It is one ounce. Next thing here, this is technically makeup, but not really, and I actually have it in the other room. I'm just a little too lazy to go grab it right now. I got another beauty blender, one of the like actual beauty blenders. Jumping into the makeup products, let's go into what I was so excited I couldn't wait that I did open. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation, and it's oil-free with a 30 per 30 percent with a 30 SPF sunscreen in it. Still, please use sunscreen if you can. Do it. I did so well in not opening this. I went the whole time not opening, except today I decided I really wanted to try it. So I did open it on up. Let's go over pricing really quickly. Why is my beauty blender not in this purchase? Okay, weird. My beauty blender is not showing up, but the Shiseido foundation is $47, so a little steeper on the foundation side. Normally it's like $34 to $40, I guess, depending on what company you're looking for. But honestly, I haven't worn it long enough to be able to tell you a lot about it. I just put it on today. Um, I wasn't supposed to put it on at all. I just wanted to talk about what products I did pick up from the store. Upon first application, I do really like it but I think it's really close to the Neutrogena, not the Neutrogena, the Physician's Formula Healthy Skin Foundation, which I adore as my everyday. I use that all the time. I thought this was going to be like a better version of it, and I don't know if that's the case yet. As of right now, they do seem really, really close. I'll do a comparison video because I, I want to I want to personally see if there is a difference or a significant difference between the two. It's supposed to be auto refreshing and I don't, self refreshing, I don't fully understand what that actually means. Let's see what it says. Weightless foundation that synchronizes with skin and self refreshes nonstop for up to 24 hours. Finish is very natural, I agree, and I would say medium coverage for me seems right. It does claim any type of skin can wear this normal dry combination and oily just to go over what type of skin I have so you know to base it off of. I have a very oily T-zone, very clogged in this area so I try to avoid any product there or a lot of product there. And then this is kind of more towards the normal dry 
type of skin. So what I mean by that is the warmer weather, it'll be normal skin, and then in the winter weather, colder fall weather, it'll be a little bit drier skin. I do have, um, I forgot the actual term, something KP, I think? something something where you have chicken skin i have it on my arms and just down here so this can get a little dry in the colder weather going into the next product this is something that i've been wanting for a very long time i was attempting to do a low by year or a no by year excluding my makeup subscriptions so i was putting this off until next year to purchase it but since my boyfriend took me to sephora for my birthday haul or whatever I had to buy it and for the first time in a while, the last times I've went, they didn't have it and I didn't want them to order it for me because I'd have to pay shipping if they ordered it to my house unless I hit a certain number. I found it this time and I'm super excited that I did. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha. This is what it looks like. I was super excited to get it because I really do like a cooler contour for the most part. I have a couple of cream contour sticks, one that's on the very cool side, one that's on the warm side, but my cool one is very, very light tone. So I like that specifically for like my nose or very, very light contouring. It is very cool tone, just a little too light, not much gets picked up, not much pigment. It's pigmented for what it is, but it's just very light. So this is a darker shade of that basically. And this is the only one that I could find that I really liked the most. I am. Am I wearing this today? I am wearing this today. This is another one of the products that I could not wait to use because I so adored this. I wanted to get this so long ago. Also, I should mention it holds up to the hype. Last thing that I did go ahead and open, this is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. New Nude Palette? Yes, the new nude palettes, and it retails for $65. This was a whopping purchase considering the Born to Run palette was $50, and that all, that all, that already was a little bit of a step. So $65, $50, that's an even bigger step. Sorry, I thought my computer was dying. That's an even bigger step. Do I think it's $65 worth? I'm not too sure. Do I love it? I do love it. Personally, there's two shadows in here that I don't really get any use out of. This just comes in here to cover the shades and it looks like this. I'm sure you're familiar with it. I don't get much use out of the glitter shadows. Personally, I just don't like the effort. Glitter, glitter. I don't like the effort. Glitter. I don't like the effort glitter shadows take to put on. I do have glitter primers. They do work tremendously well. I just don't like the effort, but I will use them. I do use them not very often though. So this palette contains 18 shades ranging from cool to warm tones, including 10 buttery mattes that blend seamlessly with your skin, four multi-reflective shadows with a versatile pearly to iridescent finish, two pressed glitters for an opulent touch, and one pressed pearl for a velvety shine, one concealer base to make your eyeshadow pop. It is very, very pretty. I do really like it. They blend out very nicely and I do really like it. I think all the shades work so well together. It's a very compact, not compact, this isn't quite compact. It's a very nice cohesive palette. So I do really like that. Even with some of the cooler tones, even with some of the cooler tones and the warmer tones, this palette still works really well together. I feel like you can blend both color tones. It'll work effortlessly well. I think it blends out effortless, effortlessly. The only thing that takes effort in this palette are the pressed glitters. Very, very nice for 18 shades. Again, I don't know if the $65 price tag is worth it. Honestly, taking a look right now, the Born to Run palette's on sale for $25, so maybe just wait till this goes on sale, if it goes on sale. That ends everything that I have opened. Everything else here is a complete wonder to me. Now going into something that I really wanted to open, but I had some self-control. Speaking of glitter, 
Let's open this babe up for the first time. This is the Becca. What are you called? Pop Goes the Glow Champagne Pop Face and Eye Palette. I was very on the border, very on the border. I was very bordered. I did not know if I was going to purchase this because I didn't know if the colors would really work for me. Like that might be a little bit too dark for me. In person, it's a little bit darker. It's getting washed out just a touch. But this is what it looks like. And it's got the champagne pop, which is super popular. What is this? This is caramel, truffle, berry, and a pink cream. It is supposed to be a face and eye palette. So if this is too dark on the face, if it's too pigmented and too dark, I'll probably use it as eyeshadow. This is a very um, popular <laughs> highlight. And ooh, the satisfaction of pulling off a mirror. Actually, that does not look the best quality. Look at this. Do you see how raggedy? How can I show you how raggedy this edge is? Anyway, it's not that big of a deal. This formulation should be great. I know this one will be. If it's the same as the compact singular ones, hopefully it's not different. Why would they do that, right? And then everything else should be the same formulation. So I'm pretty excited about this. And it is honestly a little bit clunky because you have to be able to hold this glitter thing, which honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of glitter, so I don't really care for it, but it is what it is. I mainly bought it because it also says stays. It's $112 value for $40. I was about to get just the champagne pop, but that's like almost the same price, and I can get four other shades, so I got this. That's why I was super on the border. Now, <laughs> now, 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 getting into what my boyfriend wanted to buy me. Because I said this year was going to be a low buy year or even a no buy year, aside from my makeup subscriptions, when he told me he wanted to take me to Sephora again for another birthday haul or special occasion haul or whatever it is he's doing that time, um, I was telling him like, I don't really know about any new makeup releases or anything that I would want to buy because I haven't been paying attention to it because that would just entice me in my low buy year. So I told him, boyfriend, you should totally buy me what you want to buy me and then it will be like a boyfriend buys my makeup video. Wouldn't that be super cute? And he was just like, you can't do that to me. And I was like, why not? And he says, because he'll buy the entire store because he doesn't know what to buy. And then I was like, okay, 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 that would be too pricey, so we'll do like a drugstore version some other time where you'll go buy all my makeup. And he was like, that's even worse because it's even cheaper, so I'm really going to buy the whole store. And I was like, okay, never mind. And out of nowhere, he comes up and he drops something in the basket, the Sephora basket I was holding, and he goes, I know what I'm going to buy you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what is it? So I reach in and I pull out this. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Grow House Lash and Brow Serum. But this isn't the only thing he wanted to purchase for me. He wanted to buy the Milk Makeup entire Kush line. So we have, well, I don't know if this is the entire Kush line. I told him not to buy a couple of things. Like there were a couple of lip balms that I knew that I would not wear. Like the color wise of it, I would not wear it. So I was like, don't buy me that. It's going to be a waste of money. I really told him not to buy this one also because I really doubt the like growth serum stuff. He was like, you told me I should buy you what I want to buy you. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll have to buy that out. So this is what we ended up with. Let's go through them. It costs the most out of all the milk makeup stuff that we bought. This is the Kush Grow House Lash and Brow Serum for $48. 94% natural. Let's open this on up. Okay. Ooh, that kind of looks super cute. Just because of that green in there. It's not a wand. It's like a nail polish. It's just a brush in there. So that's pretty interesting. Just a clear serum. I want to know what the claims are. It's got four stars on Sephora. It's a daily serum that nurtures hair for longer, fuller looking lashes and brows. Hemp derived cannabis seed extract hydrates and conditions 
conditions lashes and brows, plant peptides to create the appearance of lash and brow thickness, and quinoa to support healthy hair follicles. Oh, that's cool. It's got quinoa in it. And it's 94% natural, so you don't have to worry about irritation. You should see results beginning in after four weeks with full payoff after 12 weeks. See, maybe I don't believe in it because I'm too lazy to use it. But since it was $48, I want to use this bad boy. It's also kind of cute. It kind of reminds me of like a laboratory. Okay. Next in here, this is the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. I had him not buy the regular one and buy me the waterproof one instead because I love a waterproof formula. I am going to be perming my lashes again, so this might not be necessary. But until I do, I do need a waterproof foundation foundation a waterproof mascara does this not remind you of like big ego because well that was a like super hot pink but this is like super metallic blue they did great on this packaging look at this laboratory stuff like i'm a mad scientist and then i got this right here like i'm charlie's angels or something and this is gonna be like what would this be not a detonator i don't like that idea one of those things. I don't know what to call that. It is thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp-derived cannabis seed oil. And the seed oil is used for conditioning for healthier looking lashes and smooth application and fuses fibers to lashes for thickness without fallout. So I'm assuming no flaking. Also, the heart-shaped fibers, I'm happy it explains that because a uh, what? It locks onto lashes in each direction, adding width and length for long-lasting volume. Interesting. And then a pure pigment, intense black pigment in there. Next in here, should we just stick to the triangular items? All the packaging except for one is very triangular. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in the shade Canatonic. There were three other shades there. One was like a green one that was actually colorless. And then another one, I don't remember the shade of that. Huh? Is this magnetic? Oh, this is magnetic. Cool. Um, the other one, I don't remember what the shade of that was, but yeah. It is a lip balm, so I don't anticipate the color to have a lot of payoff or be as opaque. It doesn't look as amazing as these two, but it is magnetic, so that's pretty cool. Maybe everyone's kind of um, thinking off of the matchstick because these are magnetic. But these aren't supposed to stick to other lip balms, though, so not the same. Not the same at all. Details on that is that it's just a hydrating with the hemp-derived cannabis sativa seed oil, and it hydrates and calms. And it has shea butter, so it hydrates and smooths the look of skin. And something called moringa butter, which soothes and calms. So very calming, soothing of vibes with the lip balm. Last triangular item, this is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. The lip balm was $16 and the brow gel in my hand was $20. Wow, this is more expensive than the lip balm. And this is in the shade Dutch. I wanted something very taupey because that's how I do things. And it looks just like this. Pretty standard application, pretty taupey shade. I kind of like the like sleek, soft, white touch uh, packaging on this one. So this one's very, uh, this is just like metallic-y paint and then this is like a soft touch matte. It says it's a tinted vegan brow gel formulated with thickening heart-shaped fibers again and conditioning hemp-derived cannabis seed oil for long-lasting fullness, shape, and definition. Oh wow, so to keep it 100% vegan, they knew they couldn't use beeswax, which is a common binding component in brow gel formulas, so they went back to do the hemp-derived cannabis seed oil. Interesting. Smart thinking. The next thing in my haul cost $30 and the packaging looks like so. Isn't that kind of cute? And it's, of course, the milk makeup. Is this hemp? Oh, yes. 
It's the Hydro Grip Primer Hemp Derived Cannabis Extract and Blue Agave Extract. Is it sugar? Agave is like sugar. I'm so confused. Is the sugar supposed to adhere to my makeup? So it says a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for all day hydration and hold. Um, the seed extract is supposed to hydrate and smooth the look of skin while providing antioxidant benefits. Okay. The blue agave is to form an invisible layer to grip makeup, smooth the look of texture and seal in moisture. Crazy. Also, Prickly pear, cactus extract, and aloe water hydrates, soothes, and calms skin. There is a lot in this bad boy. This thing was $30, so there better be a lot in this bad boy. It actually says a list of things here. I'm going to read that to you too because I'm a little excited about this. It says hit of hydro. So the cannabis extract hydrates and plumps. Grip it, and it says a shot of blue agave holds makeup all day for a super fresh finish. Dose up. Aloe water, cherry blossom, hyaluronic acid, amazing. Hyaluronic acid is great for moisture in the skin. Hyaluronic acid and B vitamins boost for skin for a healthier looking base. You have to keep in mind it does have B vitamins, so make sure none of your skincare during the day of application of this um, interferes with it. And then universal goodness, oil-free, silicone-free, green-tinted formula goes on clear to work across all skin tones and types. Is this gonna look cool too? Smoke makeup. Oh, it is kind of. It look, kind of reminds me of like. Um, can you see? It's green tinted. It kind of reminds me of like I would think green tea, but I guess in this case you would think cannabis. Gotta prepare the last item. Um, don't hate me for this, guys. Ready? He told me to say this. He wanted me to end this with this. He uh, got me these earrings, and they cost him $300. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you can just ignore this whole part. <laughs> he just wanted to say that. He also wanted to include it because it's me going through the whole kush line from milk makeup and whatnot so yeah <laughs> didn't think i would spend so much for someone claiming i was going to go into a no by year so um i did some damage as always a big thank you to my boyfriend for buying me makeup and thank you so much for you guys for watching if you are still here you got the joke i hope and i'll see you guys in my next one Conspiracies on TV I know the truth and it's so simple